Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. We have previously did a tutorial on how to make the blankets that you see alongside this cup. When I made blankets, there was nothing that sold faster in my shop than a matching baby blanket and a tumbler for mama. So I'm gonna show you how to make a matching tumbler even if you have multiple patterns. Now we have done a full fabric wrap tutorial in the past. So if you want to see how to just wrap a tumbler with one single fabric, then definitely go check that out. This one, we're going to do two different kinds of fabric. To do that, we are using a 24 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia. This tumbler is eight inches tall. So I'm going around and marking at four inches all the way around the tumbler. Then I'm going to take a sheet of printer paper as a guide and then make a line all the way around so that we know exactly where to splint our fabric. The most important first step that you're going to want to do is spray paint this tumbler matte white. White because it's going to make your fabric pop. If you put the fabric straight onto the stainless steel, regardless of what color it is, it can be a black fabric with a pattern on it. You still want to base paint white, so any colors on that fabric will pop. If you do not do that, it will look like it is washed out or wet after you apply the Mod Podge. So definitely give yourself a white base layer. Also, you want it matte because glossy is going to repel Mod Podge. So make sure it is matte white. I cut these two strips of fabric long enough to go all the way around the tumbler and about five inches tall, just to give a little bit of overhang from our four inch sections. I'm going to work on the bottom first. I'm just taking Mod Podge and giving a very generous layer. You want it to sort of seep through the fabric when you press it down so that you know that it is nice and secure on there and that there are not any areas that are not saturated with the glue. If you have areas that do not have glue on them, it will show eventually, especially after you add on your epoxy. You're going to wrap your fabric around Press it down really, really well to make sure that it is adhered to the tumbler. Trim off any of that excess fabric. Leave about an inch of an overhang so you can give yourself a nice seam later on. And repeat those same steps for the top section. Just make sure that you do line your seams up if you are using multiple fabrics. Once both of my fabrics are on, I'm going to go over with a light coat of Mod Podge. I don't want to be too heavy because we are going to remove pieces of this fabric. You just want the fabric to dry to be stiff so that you can go over with your craft knife and trim down that seam and remove that without damaging or distorting your fabric print.
allow that to dry 100% and then you are ready to trim your seam. Before we do that, I know a lot of you have purchased this same craft knife as I have and probably wondering, how do I change the blades? So all you have to do is ideally have two needle nose pliers that grab one side of the new blade and one side of the old blade, snap it right off and you have a fresh new blade underneath. And there you have it. So all you do to trim the seam is take a piece of painter's tape and line that up to make sure your seam is straight. Put a lot of pressure on this because you are cutting through two layers of fabric and go straight alongside your painter's tape. Remove the painter's tape, lift up the excess fabric, and then very carefully lift up the fabric at your seam so that you can remove the little slither of fabric that is underneath. You may have to clean up just a bit before that you apply Mod Podge once again. Just take your craft knife and sort of straight scrape off those excess pieces of fabric that might be underneath or over top from where you removed glued down portions. Once you have that nice and cleaned up, glue your seam back down by putting glue underneath and over top and then give this tumbler another coat of Mod Podge. After that dries completely, we're going to use our vinyl trimming tool from Cami Page Boutique and trim off the top and bottom excess fabric. Now, if you have one of these tools, use a lot of pressure. Once again, we're cutting through fabric, not thin vinyl. You're gonna do that on the top and the bottom, making sure that you trim your vinyl down to allow a little slither of that stainless to show at the top and give this two more coats of Mod Podge, allowing it to dry in between so that we can make sure that our top and bottom is sealed in. If any of your fabric is exposed to epoxy, it will show. It will look like a little oil spot on your fabric and it will really stand out. So make sure that this is sealed in and completely dry before adding on your epoxy. Normally, after I do a fabric tumbler, once I put that last coat of Mod Podge on, I will allow it to dry overnight just to be on the safe side. 
If you have spots that are wet with Mod Podge and you put your epoxy over top, it will get milky underneath and it can mold in the future. So once I allowed this to dry completely, I added on about a milliliter and a half of fast set epoxy and grabbed Huntress from PDB Creative Studio. And we are just going to ombre that from the center of this tumbler. I went heavy around that middle seam and then tilted my tumbler towards the table and away from the table to allow it to sort of just waterfall into each section of fabric. I tapped any of the chunky bits that were sticking up down with my finger and don't use a bare hand actually put a glove on before you do this because you can come in contact with epoxy i allowed that to dry sealed it three times with a matte clear coat spray paint and then gave it two coats of epoxy now we are going to finish off the bottom of this tumbler by just taping it off and spray painting Princess Cut by My Color Shot. This paint color actually has some metallic flakes in it, so it did sparkle just a little bit, and it matched the mountains on that bottom fabric perfect. I have already layered my decal. I did initially plan on showing you once again how to layer decals however this one was extremely complicated with those little letters i used the textured metallic gold from tech wrap craft and then also this really pretty pink peachy color vinyl and black from the 001 matte starter pack those letters were really small in the center, so I just left that center ring and decided to weed it after I had applied it to my tumbler so that those letters would not be damaged as I'm removing that excess vinyl. I did create this decal and it will be available pinned to the top of the group in Brittany Barnes Boutique Tumblr Art Group on Facebook. And I don't show you on camera, but once I did have this decal weeded, I sealed with quick seal from Artistry to make sure that that decal did not move and those teeny letters did not come up after I applied my epoxy. And then added on two final layers of epoxy and this one was complete. I love handmade gifts. I feel like so much thought goes into them and of course all of the time and hard work just makes it mean so much more. When I used to make custom blankets and tumblers, these sets would literally fly. I was making baby blankets and matching mom tumblers like clockwork. So if you're looking to add some ready to ship stuff to your shop for the holidays, this is an absolutely amazing option to add. You will sell them like crazy. I hope that y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell in the corner to be notified anytime a new tutorial drops. Of course, all of the materials that I used will be listed down in the description below, as well as some coupon codes for you. That is all for today. Thank you all so much, and we will see you next time.